the geometric representation of an IFC product, or in this case, the geometry of our model elements, can be assigned a presentation layer, which is more commonly referred to as a CAD layer. This can be used for grouping and visibility. The layers can be seen in BIM Collab Zoom. If I select an element, in the summary, there is a property called layer. I have created a smart view within BIM Collab Zoom, which will auto color all the elements based on their layer property and the complete list of all layers along with the count of each layer can be seen here. However, I want to update the layer naming to comply with ISO 13567 and also update the classification field for the layer to Uniclass 2015 to match the classification references I placed in the previous video. Layer assignment for elements when exporting to IFC is handled by a text file in the format of a DWG export file. So for example, if I open up the export settings for DWG, here I can see the export layers and color IDs for the projection and cut geometry for the different Revit categories. However, I cannot define the export settings for IFC within this particular settings dialog box. In order to update these settings for an IFC export, I need to amend the Revit INI file, which is a file that defines the software defaults for the Revit software installed on your machine. The Revit INI file can be found in App Data, Roaming, Autodesk, Revit, and then the version of Revit that you are using. Firstly, before editing it, it's always advisable to make a copy as a backup. Like so. I can then right click and I'm going to open the any file in a text editor. Once opened, I'll go to the directories heading and in the export layers name DGN property, I'm going to specify the text file that I wish to use to specify the layer that the IFC geometry is exported to. I have created a new text file inside the appropriate folder. I will simply rename and copy the text and then replace the text file here, making sure the text file and the path are correct. I can then save the INI file and then close it. I will need to restart Revit in order for these changes to take effect. And once the session has been reopened and the model re-exported, if I look at the layers smart view, I can see that the layer names have been updated to the layers defined in that updated text file. And if I select an element such as this floor, I can see the layer here. It is also possible to manually override the IFC presentation layer of a particular element. In the project parameters, I have added a parameter called IFC presentation layer type. This is a parameter that is not currently available in the types shared parameter file, 
but it is available in the instance shared parameter file without the word type. I have created a new parameter for the type association. I have added it to a number of elements at the type level. Under edit type, I can see the IFC presentation layer and I have manually defined a new layer based on the layer naming convention. After exporting again to IFC, I can see that this element has now been given a new layer defined by the IFC presentation layer parameter override. This parameter could be added at the type or instance level in Revit to suit your workflow, and if applied to a loadable family, the parameter can be added at the family level to allow the values to be specified or predefined if required. So that is how to globally set and then individually override the IFC presentation layer or CAD layer that the model geometry is exported to from Revit.